Do you all love K-pop? If you do, welcome to this segment. The K-pop stars we love. The reason why K-pop is loved all around the world. And during this time, I, Sam Carter, and So Samuel will be closely examining and exploring K-pop through the musician's point of view. Oh, oh my K-pop. K-pop. Dude, I don't know why I'm feeling so nostalgic right now. I mean, I almost said, oh my idol, for some reason. (laughs) That is what we used to do. Yeah, that was the previous name we had back in the days before it turned into oh my K-pop, by the way. It's all right, man. Sometimes sometimes yeah. we go through moments like that in life. We have Samuel Sol with us today. Do, 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 do. I don't know why, but I'm so hyped today for some reason. I like that. I yeah. like that. What, what, are you feeling good? Like, as soon as it turned 2022, my attitude, attitude towards mm. life has changed a bit. Really? Yeah, I decided to live it more, live, like, seize each and every one of these. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. That does happen, I think. When it turns January, you yeah. do feel like it's a sort of a new start mm-hmm. and new things can happen. You get and excited. And enjoy a little more. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Did you start your year well then? Uh, no, actually, I was in my shop working on new songs. <laughs> yes, oh, that yeah. sounds, that, that's a good way to start. That's a typical life of a musician. That's I assume you did the same too? I took, um, I took Saturday off. I had an off day. Okay. And I went and bought myself a, a virtual reality game thing. Wow, Which, that was very unexpected very <laughs> self-gift for, from you. Like, yeah. why though? I didn't know you were a game... I mean, you are a game guy, yeah. but... Because I wanted to do something yeah. which, which made me move a little bit because there's things like boxing on there. Okay. And I wanted to do that. And also, I thought, I never treat myself. Is that the product that starts with O? Oh, you know, you know. Oh, that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you don't need a computer. And it's amazing. So on Saturday, I bought that and I was um, in the middle of fighting with a sword and, okay. and in the middle of a war. For I the think ho- I know for, which game you were yeah, playing. For the whole day. Yeah? It was the best day I've ever spent. It's actually really good because, mm. I mean, I used to own one of those before, oh, but I no longer use it, so I sold it. Like, yeah. I used one but the thing about that product is that you can download like the best sceneries around the world yeah. and whenever you want to take a break off from your busy life you just wear that thing and get to yeah. visit all those great places like Grand oh. Canyon you can literally float on top of that place you know it's amazing yeah. man it is so cool it's so cool I'm oh Anna Zosa is saying Sam try uh, Beat Saber I will try that right that's such a cool game oh. so it's a very good one anyways so that's how I spent my day yeah. um, dude apparently you're getting ready for your fourth full length album oh am I are you no it says it, well, it's written here <laughs> it, it's written on my, you, you must have said this somewhere I know I know <laughs> I was just kidding okay so the thing about my fourth al- studio album is that I mean n- normally whenever I prepare for my studio album I mm. need this song um, um, reason yeah you know what I mean like or certain proof that I have developed over time mm. to myself like mm. I needed self-confident but after releasing this song called Monji Dust a while back mm. I I started to like grow this uh, self-confidence towards this next fourth studio oh. album, thinking that maybe it's about time to prepare for it because I think I'm good enough to prepare the next work then mate yeah get it done as soon as you can mate I'd love to uh, yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah and in the middle of the progress I uh, happen to like collect a lot more outboard gears <laughs> oh that's on nice. my journey of music so yeah it's gonna be a lot more amazing compared to my previous work so far can't wait man and it's gonna be less digital sounding too I mean I'm not a huge fan of digital audio thing anymore so that's gonna be amazing yeah. it could get do you know what Samuel's yeah. albums they always especially like people who really appreciate music they yeah. just like mind blown so I can't wait for your next one it's gonna yeah. be good yeah 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 yeah. alright alright uh, right. Samuel we've got so much to do today shall we introduce this segment please okay so what's gonna happen is we are going to choose the K-pop star of the hour look back on their history his history her history from mm. their debut till now and Sam and I will be analyzing the reason why we think they're loved through our point of view. Yeah, we also need the listeners' participation. Yes, yes. During the middle of the segment, Sam and I will be choosing some of the B-side tracks that we really like by the artists and let you guys take a listen to them. Of course. And then for today's K-pop star as well, um, please do send in a song by the artist or songs that you'd like to listen to. Tell us why you like the artist as well. Yes. Lastly, you can always send in your request for the K-pop star that you want us to closely listen to. We will actively reflect your opinions. And today's corner prize is a special video message from Sam. 
Samuel Carter with his beautiful British English. I'll be doing that, man. <laughs> Can't wait for that. So make sure that you do uh, pay attention to who's going to be winning that. Yes, yes. Um, right, so shall we get started with, firstly, the K-pop star of the day? Yeah, so today we're talking all about Zion T. So Zion T is an artist with a magical voice that can pull off both calm R&B and fast tempo music, and he's known as the hip hop dude Dangdang, playing hard to get Chaeyeonni or Lovely. Mm. He said he cho- chose to use his stage name because his real name Kim Hesor seems too nice. And last month on the 23rd, he released his new single called Sonmuru Kurumyo, a gift. As soon as the song dropped, it reached the high spots of the main music charts, proving his popularity once again. Recently, Zion T had been a hot issue for appearing on TV programs such as Achimmadang. AM Plaza, TV show Jin Pum Myung Pum, authentic masterpieces, and many more. Zion T is also known for his witty lyrics such as I love in Seoul City, Gangsogu. I live in Seoul City, Gangsogu. More info is in my privacy. Is my privacy. Let's dive into this charming artist music today. Can't wait for this, man. Yeah. Zion T. I mean, um, you can't get much bigger in terms of artists in Korea. Yeah. You know, Zion T is pretty much. He's a hell. He's a hell. I think pretty much everybody knows his name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Even like the older generation probably know him. Or heard of him. Yeah. Possibly, right? And I got a lot to talk about this, dude, because we go way back. That's what I'm so excited about, actually, (laughs) because Samuel obviously knows a lot (laughs) about this guy, and uh, we're going to get, hopefully, lots of information. Mm -hmm. Uh, But if if we give you some basic ones, so um, he started liking hip-hop science at the age of 17. Mm -hmm. That's when he started writing rap lyrics, Mm -hmm. and then he became more interested in music, Mm -hmm. played lots of instruments at church, Mm -hmm. which is how lots of people start, actually, and uh, officially started music in his senior year of high school, mm. which is quite late if you think about it, actually. Uh, is it? I mean, back in the days, mm. it was pretty early, considered to be, because nowadays yeah. it's extremely early. Like, people start to pursue their musical career at yeah. the age of, like, early teenager or whatever, I so... I know, it's incredible. Back in the days, it was normal, I consider him. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, yeah. the, the, I, I was always curious about his yeah. name, because it, it is a very cool name. Yeah. The Zion in Zion T stands for Mount Zion of Jerusalem. The T stands for cross. Right. Mm. And speaking a bit about his songs, his new song is called Sonmuru Kurumyo, A Gift. The song process, music video filming, and recording were all done in two weeks. And he showed his love for the fans and added, I made this song because I wanted to give back to the fans. This song is a present and is a completed when you listen to it. Fantastic. Well, uh, the new song, um, I don't know, have you ever, have you ever listened to it? Sonmuru um, Kurumyo, A Gift? Yeah, I have. Mm. I have, and I thought the way he promoted this song was, uh, yeah, it was pretty good mm. idea. Like he literally expressed this song as a uh, gift, yeah, you know what I mean? gift to the audience, and instead of just using the word a new song was released type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think he's always very clever when it comes to the lyrical side of things, isn't he? Right. And clearly a bit of a genius. Mm-hmm. I've got to say, I, I've obviously listened to it as well, mm-hmm. and um, I quite like how it's very simple compared to some of his other songs. Right. Like, instrumental-wise, it's so mm-hmm. simple. Like, strumming an acoustic guitar mm-hmm. doesn't really happen a lot nowadays mm-hmm. in, in like mainstream music. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, it was quite refreshing to hear that again mm-hmm. in his songs. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know... I I think I realised I always knew he was a genius, mm-hmm. but I this I watched this season of um, Show Me the Money. Yeah. I think I realised again mm-hmm. that he is such a, a genius mm-hmm. and so good live mm-hmm. as well. That's just my t- I don't really, I don't know him personally, never met him, so that's just my take. But um, yeah, I do love it. Obviously, you got a lot to talk about today. Yeah, but before we talk about those mm. stuff, we'll let the audience think about what what to think about like this new song from him. This yes. is Zion T with Sonmuru Kurumya. Gift. Everyone enjoy. It's very, it's very peaceful, isn't it? Very relaxing. Yeah, it's so almost relaxed. as if a feather is singing. You know what I mean? Ooh. He doesn't try really hard to like sing every note out loud and powerful. Yeah. Instead, he chose to sing it as light as possible. I know. 
Right. I know. It's it's interesting. I, I again realise that how how many different styles of music he does. Like so many different styles. It's interesting, isn't it? Right. But mm. as soon as his voice is like settled on top of the track, whether the, like despite of the genre's differences, it all s- comes down into this one lane mm. called Zion T for some reason. Yeah, yeah. there is a Zion T lane actually, yeah. official one. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. So we are talking Zion T. Right. So send in a song by him that we're going to hear and also tell us about the reason why I became his fan. All right, guys. Well. What we're gonna do I mean pff, my goodness me he has got a lot of hit songs yeah. uh, so it's quite hard to compress these to three but mm-hmm. we are gonna listen to three of them and uh, have a quick chat okay let's go okay dollo, dollo. Beautiful introduction, isn't yeah, it? Yes, this first song we're listening to is called Yanghua De Gyo. This single was released in September 22nd, 2014. <gasps> Wow, this is already seven years ago. Seven years, my goodness. Just noticed. And with his unique vocal tone and music style, this song was one that really left an impression on the listeners. The song holds his real story that goes, Yang Hwa Daegyo represent my father. One day when I realized I was in charge of the household, I got the inspiration for the song. The song is about a family. It is about leading the path of the head of the house. I dedicate this song to all the young heads of the household. I mean, this was... Um a sensation of a song back in 2014, man. Right. Um, it was. And I think still, when you think Zion T, you still think Yang Wa Daegyo, you think Yang Wa Bridge. Right. And whenever, when I drive by Yang Wa Daegyo, <laughs> I think Yang, Yang Wa Daegyo in Korea, and like if you translate that into English, that's uh, Yang Hua Big Bridge, should we Big call bridge, it? Yeah. Big Bridge, yeah. Big Bridge Tae is Big Tae in Chinese letters. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, anyways, when this song was first released, I I was actually pretty amazed by the theme that he chose to yeah. express his love towards his father because, yeah. like, we all grew up listening to the same phrase from our fathers. Like, yeah. whenever I asked my dad where he was, he always said, I'm on my way back, I'm on Yanghua Daegyo. For some reason, right. every parents back in the days did that. Yeah. That's maybe because we didn't have many, like, bridges to connect the... Um, southern side and the northern side of Seoul back in the days interesting. as many as we have nowadays because we have like eight or nine different bridges that connect yeah. both but back then we only had like two or three so right, right, so right. whether it was Yang Hadega or not so yeah it brought back so much memories from my youth I think that's the yeah. success of it. People right. relate to the lyrics of the song because so many people have a similar story about fathers out working hard. Right. And I, 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 feel, I thought it was a very personal song because he goes into so much detail about the job his father was doing. Right. Ta- he makes a taxi uh-huh. driver. Uh, he ma- goes into so much detail about his family. Right. And I think people appreciate that because mm-hmm. he's opening up his, his heart a little bit. Right. Which can be difficult sometimes, I feel. Right. Yeah. Um, and followed good news after the release of this song. I, or I'm not sure if it was b- before this song or after this song, mm-hmm. but he actually later opened up a cafe for his parents. Right, that's yeah. interesting. So, he clearly has got lots of love for his family, yeah. clearly. And that shows in this absolute legend of it. I think, you know, when Zion T gets older, he'll look back and this song might be the very special song in his mm-hmm. life, you know. Uh, let's listen to a bit more Yanghua Daegyo, Yanghua Bridge. Yep. Hmm. It's another legend of a song. Yeah, so this song is called Kunyang Just with Crush. Mm. In February 2015, the young hip hop RV vocalist Zion T and Crush released this song through the project album called Young, and the emotions are rep- repressed, which actually makes the sad emotions come through even more. And the melody is ad- addictive, and the two singers' vocal really harmonizes well, and you will definitely have this song on repeat. Yeah, I mean, I think during this time, 2015, 2014, this period, these two artists, Zion T and Crush, were just the leading sort of R&B singers, weren't they? Still are. Still are. Still are. Still, and they were, and they have been, and yeah. they will. I Absolutely. Think, yeah. But I think this is the period when things were kind of really bubbling up with R&B, like Dean right. was coming into the picture, right. all these amazing singers. Uh-huh. Um, for me, this song is just, oh, it, it's so smooth, isn't mm-hmm. it? 
are incredibly smooth. And about this song, I think this song has the, I mean, this song really contains Zion T's personality, like, character really well. The way he sang song, like, yeah. back in the days, like, he usually, like, tried to slice each and every syllable, mm. like, or words. Like, yeah. That, go, that went, like, could it? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. And I think this song really showed that part of Zion T really well, while Crush was more like a traditional type of singer. Yeah. Back in the days. And Absolutely. those two really mix well. Really uh, mixes well. And that's one thing I'm curious about with Zion T. How did he come up with such a. Because when he was younger, he didn't start singing like that, probably. Oh, if, he did. Did he? Yeah. Just when he was straight off. So the thing about Zion T is that, like we mentioned, he started off his career as a rapper, right? Yeah, like yeah. an amateur rapper. Yeah. But even back then, he was really famous among all the community and mm. amateur scene in South Korea mm. because he was probably like the first one to come to try to rap with the auto tunes on. Right, right, right. So sort of melody kind of. Rapping. So even back then, he knew that like sustaining a note led too long with auto tune on sounded really bad. Yeah, so yeah, he yeah. knew even back then that how to Cut divide the letters into. Interesting. Just to sound it make better. Because obviously everyone knows T Pain made that famous in America, right. but maybe Zion T started that off in Korea. Yeah, right. That's interesting. True. Um, love what he does in on this mm -hmm. one. This one's called Kunyang Justice with Crush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. This third song we're listening to is called Dore. In mm. English, I believe it's a song. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Anyways, this was a title track of his album, OO, which was released in February 2017. And the album name represents Zion T's signature glasses and expresses his point of view. It stands for the intersection of the public and Zion T. Zion T made this song while imagining that it would feel like if everyone got to know what he wrote in his diary. The part that goes, I hope I don't get famous, is quite impressive. Yeah, I mean, lyrically, you always tend to focus on what he's talking about because it's always something very interesting. Um, again, I was surprised when this song came out because mm -hmm. it's very bright, right. very major, mm -hmm. isn't it? And um, I was so used to him not doing songs like this. Mm -hmm. um, but again, surprising, surprising the music community, I think, with another song, mm -hmm. isn't he? Right. I was also really impressed with Zion T because obviously he was at YG Entertainment for a long time. Oh, and, um, yeah, he is. And for me, it was interesting to have an artist like that mm -hmm. at a label like that. Because they're a major, major label. All right. Nowadays they have solo artists, but back in the day, I don't know, for me, it was an interesting mix of cultures, wasn't it? Right, I mean, the thing about Zion T is that he's been really clever about like being surrounded, putting him in this certain situation, surrounded by all the people from different backgrounds. Yeah. But every single one of them had like, happens to be really good at what they're doing. For example, like, Back in the days, he had his makeup artist called Chemi So Her name is Chemi So and she's really well known for doing all those experimental makeup right. thing in South Korea. And he had Hobin, Hobin, a uh, music video director back in the days. Uh, and they also run this crew called Holo Coin. Remember? Mm. I don't, I'm not know. sure if you recall, but yeah. they're not really doing anything as a crew and stuff. But that's uh. like their entourage right, right, of right. talented artists. And like, if you take a closer look at his entourage, then you'll find some amazing people from there and that's where he gets his inspirations from i think nowadays yeah. that's so important to have that sort of community community right? yeah. yeah people that you get inspiration mm -hmm. from and you help each other out it's mm -hmm. uh, important um actually it's such a feel-good song this one from zion mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um let's have a listen to a bit more nore the song <laughs> Alright, so that was uh, three songs from uh, Zion T that we listened to. Aim Lisa says here, um, how I describe Zion T genre, it's just Zion T genre. His music's so unique. 
he has his own music style, doesn't he? Absolutely. Yeah, that kind of musicians deserve to survive in this music industry. I agree. Yeah. I agree. You know, those those artists who go out to try and do something a bit different, like 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 Samuel mm. as well. Rather than categorize into this certain genre, yeah. like, uh, like they just describe as themselves. Exactly. So. That's so important, isn't it, in the music world? Mm. Uh, we are talking Zion T today. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Mm. So moving on to the B side. Mm. Selection of the day. I, I believe you're going first today. I am uh, gonna go first today. Yeah. Very difficult um, mm. when it comes to Zion T songs, actually, because mm. oh, there are just so many that you want um, the listeners to kind of have a listen to as mm. well, um, because they're all so unique. All got different stories and and things like that. Um, but I have decided to go for a song which um, I've always really liked, actually, and the mm. song is called Yonghwan. Uh, Yonghwan, oh. which is cinema. So so it's okay. like the cinema. Um, and uh, for me, the reason I went for this sort of song yeah. is firstly, it's on, we just listened to Nore, the song. Mm. It's on the same album. Okay. This one, Yo Agwan. It's on the same album. So uh, the album title is OO, but they represent um, these amazing glasses that mm. he has in the album. And um, for me, the reason I went for this song is I kind of, for me, I'm so impressed by the different styles that he does. Like for me, I love the the hard stuff that he's done as mm -hmm. well. Do you remember on Show Me the Money? He a long time ago he did this song called Machine Gun. Okay. Yeah, that was like for me crazy, and I I sort of realised he does lots of different things. But this song I've gone for is um, a bit more. It's kind of like his newer songs, Humble mm -hmm. a Gift, where it's kind of <laughs> a bit more relaxed, and it's kind of a little bit bossa nova rich. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. that a word? Bossa Nova-ish? Bossa nova Bossa Nova-ish. Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Bossa Nova-ish. Yeah. It's Bossa Nova-ish. And normally, I've, I've said this a lot, I'm not a huge fan of actually Bossa mm. Nova. I don't listen to a lot of it. Um, but he kind of makes it very cool for me. And instrumental-wise, it's one of those more simpler songs, which I kind of enjoy from Zion T. Mm -hmm. um, and... I think you're right that he does really surround himself with great people. Like for this song, um, a great producer called PJ did it, mm -hmm. uh, who's super talented. Uh, the string arrangement is absolutely beautiful. And in this song as well, it's just Zion T knows, he does it in all of his songs, but he just knows how to use his voice in a way mm -hmm. which um, keeps listeners listening to the song, you know. Mm -hmm. He just keeps the song interesting. Even with, like, Bossa Nova can become a bit samey, like the same thing over and over right. and over, right? Yeah. But for some reason, he makes that sort of uh, simple track interesting to listen to for the whole time that it's on, mm -hmm. three minutes or however long. Um, so maybe listen to it first and then maybe you'll get what I mean and we can talk more about it. Um, my B-side track is uh, from his 2017 album, uh, the album OO, representing the glasses. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it is the first track on the album as well, uh, Yong Hwa Gwan, Cinema. <laughs> Oh, that's a great song, and uh, yeah, I love it, man. Boom, 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 boom. It kind of, it kind of turn your brain a little fuzzy for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> there is yeah. something kind of. There is something eerie about it, mm -hmm. like the atmosphere it creates. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe something to do with sound frequencies. I don't know, man. Right. <laughs> it's interesting, but um, I thought a little bit different, you know, quite mm -hmm. hard to pull off a genre like this mm -hmm. in mainstream, like popular music style, mm -hmm. but does it very well. That's my B-side track. Yeah, I mean, what I really liked about the your choice of the day was that um, this song doesn't really make force you to focus on some element, certain element from yeah. a song, right? Usually that happens to be vocal. Right. But for this song, he used his vocal work as um, part of instrumentation, I believe. You're right. Yeah. I think it. I think you're right as well, and I think that yeah. means it's also one of those songs. Yeah. It can almost be like, do you know, like the term elevator music? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's just hotel kind of, bathroom music just, and stuff. Like that. It's perfect for yeah. like background Backgrounds, music. Yeah. It's one of those songs, mm -hmm. I think. Um, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, Bob Ansack says PJ has been around for a bit doing good stuff. We were talking about right. PJ, who produces most of Zion T stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Top top producer. Mm. Thank you, and I believe we have some messages. Yeah, uh, a few comments actually. Firstly, yeah. um, Siska said, I didn't know that this song's a B side track. Anna Zosa said, Yes, I picked this song too. I love it. Good Yay. job, Sam. 
Very nice, very nice. Yay. And um, we do have some other messages that come in too. Okay. Oh. Anna says, Hi, Sam. Sam squared. Sorry for the bad pun. I fa- My favorite song from Zion T is Click Me or Yong Ha Gan. I really oh. enjoyed listening to his song. It reminds me of the good times of the early 2010s. He's one of the first uh, soloists that I discovered. He's really artistic and I love that. I hope he makes a comeback soon. Well, he made us come back with the new song, Hyeson Mungma from Show Me the Money, right? Oh, man. Hyeson Mungma. I was really um, more, I was more intrigued by him. Do you know what I really loved on Show Me the Money is where, you know, earlier on when the producers, they do a show mm-hmm. to kind of entice the participants. They do their own show. Yeah. Um, Zion T's live set was just ama- was pretty amazing, man. Mm. So creative. Um, anyways, um, okay, um, I've got one here. Diana Chan says one of my favorite Zion T songs is uh, two melodies. Bona melody. Mm. I remember a lot of idols recommending this song. That's how I started following Zion T. Again, so you don't get the whole meaning of bona melody, like mm-hmm. obvious melody. Mm-hmm. Such a clever title, isn't it? Mm. Uh, such a clever title. Uh, great, Diana. Thank you. Okay, Siska from Indonesia says, Hello, Sam C. Sam so happy Tuesday. Zion T, I love his songs, but knock knock my gila brain. I cannot remember many of his songs. I go, only I remember some. My favorites are Eat, Haha, Because. I also have, love oh. eating. Love Yanghua Bridge, No Makeup, Snow, Cinema, May, Bay Bay, and I just want to stay with you too. May I request to play the last song for today? It's from OST of the King, Eter- Eternal Monarch, though. Thank you, Sam Sam and Yuna Pideni. Interesting. Um, so, Eat, Gone Moreo, that was an interesting song. Mm-hmm. And then Bebe with Gecko as well. Mm-hmm. That's such a funky track as well. It's right. very, very good. Um, okay, Leon here writes into us. Sorry, Double Sam. Yay, today's artist. It'll always remind me of the first prize I won on Super K pop. Nine years ago. Mm-hmm. What? No, have, have I done this for nine years? Yeah. Have I? 2013, seven, eight, eight years. years. Yeah. Eight years, eight okay. years. Oh, I, was, I, was, I was in shock there for a minute. <laughs> um, you're right, it's a Zion T signed album with the first song I heard from him featuring Crush, two melodies. Mm. Um, Bonner Melody, we've got a picture. Um, beautiful album, isn't it? Right. Really beautiful. Um, other songs I like from him include his famous hit, uh, hits like Yang Hua Bridge, Eat No Makeup. Ah, oh, No Makeup is another big one. And The Song, which we've all uh, talked about a little bit as well. Mm-hmm. That's nice. His artwork is always quite beautiful, isn't mm-hmm. it? Uh, very nice. Leon, thank you so much indeed. Yes, yes. Um, you, you, were, you were saying you go you go way back with Zion T, don't you? Yeah. What, can you tell us a little bit of the... How you, how? Okay, so me and him, we got to we first got to meet at a Mac, thing 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 uh, at the restaurant in Itaewon. Oh, I oh I've been there many times back when I was um eighteen. Can I tell you a story what? about that? That that restaurant. Yeah, I once thought the door was open yeah. and I smashed my head into the door. Oh my! Yeah. That that was how clean it was. It was very clean. That was a long time ago now. But okay. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enough with the nostalgic thing you from you. There. Well, you met there. Well, anyways, when I first met him, like I already knew him because he would, like I said, he was already famous in the community for rapping with auto tunes on, just yeah. like the kids they do nowadays. Yeah. But his was much more sophisticated back then. Right. Really. But the thing about him is that he told us that he like turned switched his lane a bit into like more singing. Right, right, right. And. Uh, Later on, that's how we met for the first time, and we kept in touch to each other, mm. like sharing the songs we oh. came up with back in the days. But this one day, he called me, mm. sounding really excited, uh-huh. saying that Sam, we're gonna meet up right away. Mm. I'll be around your house like within ten minute ish. So can you be out? And I yeah. said, okay, why not? Yeah. And I didn't even bother to ask. Well, because I yeah. just knew that something different has happened to him. Oh. And I went out. We sat in a subway station. And he let me listen to a song, which was Click Me. Wow. That was a draft version of Click Me. Wow, wow, wow. And when I heard that song, I was stoked. Because, oh, T, I think you're finally completed. Right, right, right. Like, literally completed as being Zion T. Right, right. right. And he, later, when I finished listening to... The song, I, I found the missing part from a song that mm. was that lasted for 16 bars mm. in total. And I just knew someone was going to go in there and someone huge was going to go in there. And he later added that 
I got I asked Toki to feature on it right. because Toki was even like even bigger back in the Huge days. Huge rapper, yeah. yeah. Right, and he was actually a really mysterious figure back in the days. Like no one was actually no one was literally able to like work with him because he was such a soloist that he refused to make an entourage out of around him and stuff. Yeah. And he later released "Click Me" featuring Toki yeah. with the. Uh, distinctive music video of yeah. Kin Scientist's characteristic like showing his characteristic right all that stuttering type of movement yeah. with that perfect stuttering type of singing yeah. on top and that song blew up right mm. it went viral and after that I joined the military because we have to serve for the military for a couple of years if mm. you are born in South Korea which is really sad but I, I did it anyways and when I was serving for the military I heard similar a like familiar voice from TV this one day wow. that that my Huim the ones that came in later to the military yeah was um, and oh that's T and wow but I'm not familiar with this song is that a new release mm. and when I look at the TV it was actually produced by Primary and the song was See Through See Through was huge I know right with that music video and Keko <sighs> and even though the song's um original owner is primary it um almost gave me this impression that zion t was the owner of this song because yeah. his song presence his yeah. presence throughout the song was that big i guess it's because he was in charge of the entire course part and stuff mm. but the thing about him is that yeah we were tight before mm. but after that song was released you different. know how like yeah. things have changed over time yeah. and even over time i myself like keep and kept on pursuing music career but later on i found out that we were on a really different path in terms mm. of music career right my mm. me i had like i aim for more traditional stuff from the past and he was like more he was this type of guy who like pursued more trendy and right, right, right. more fast thing and stuff and the thing about his success i want him to know that i'm really like happy for his success and even though we are not as close as we were back in the days, but I, I still support him with all my heart. Yeah, man. And with that being said, I brought a song from his one of his early days album. <laughs> and I'm actually amazed. That, was it Leon or Raul that shared the album cover to us? Leon, 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 Leon. Uh, it's from the same album, actually. And yeah. I believe this was uh, track number two, also produced by PJ and Zion T, like both of them. Uh, Zion T, of course, worked on the lyrics and melodies and stuff. And this song is called Todohe. Mm -hmm. What's Todohe in English? Todohe, how, how do we explain? I mean, the, there is an yeah. English title, which yeah. is Todo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do 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 oh, do do yeah yeah well anyways about this song um when i first heard this song i was really shocked because mm. this is when his um style like the stuttering singing kind of style bloomed yeah i believe and like even before then he was so fond of this minimalism thing in terms of music like he always kept on telling me that back in the days i was more of this guy like tried to add more on top of each and every elements of a musical stuff mm. but he was more like the guy to like get rid of every elements that right. are unnecessary from your music in order to make it as clean as possible mm. and i think this song is like the results result of his philosophy that's yeah. interesting. By the way, the meaning yeah. is like kind of chic and kind of... Arrogant, is, cocky yeah, or cocky, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Has that in it too. Dude, uh, so excited. So one of his earliest songs. We've yeah. got we've got to play it right now if you okay, can, man. Okay, let's mm. do it. This is Todohe with Zion T. Wow, this song is flawless. Even Beautiful. after all those years. Mate, it sounds like it was released this year, honestly. Uh, <laughs> incredible. Uh, Told Away by Zion T, we just had great selection from Sammy. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. Already. Time has flown by today. It was nice talking about Zion T. The thing about Zion T is I could do this all night I long. Know. <laughs> I know, it's so nice. Yeah. Uh, dude, but next week, what we're doing yeah. is talking about another star, mm. and we are talking about uh Pak Boram next week so oh, we've got okay. lots to chat about um so make sure listeners you don't miss out dude have a nice week you too all right we'll see sam you've been great today thank you yeah. and we'll say goodbye for now bye bye <laughs>